Now, I suspect that when the disease is in play and you've been diagnosed in those late stages, I don't know how much sleep is electrically charged, even as it may be, could help. What we're now trying to do in our studies is actually retrospectively find out, is there a particular decade of life or decades of life when a decline in sleep makes you most susceptible to then developing a lot more amyloid later in life? In other words, we're trying to now identify these vulnerability windows mm -hmm. during the lifespan. The reason I want to do that is if I can scientifically convince myself of a knowledge base of vulnerability sensitivity to insufficient sleep. My guess is that it's just across the lifespan. It gives me a chance to know where is the inflection point of not late stage life treatment, but early life prevention. Mm -hmm. Because that's what medicine has to do right now, I think. We've done a good job at extending lifespan, but a miserable job at extending health span. Lifespan is probably about treatment. Health span is probably about prevention. Mm -hmm. Sleep needs to be part of that discussion. And sleep is usually absent for, in many of these conversations for either lifespan or health span, despite it having a demonstrable impact on both. But my hope is that to be able to find that sensitive time when your risk for Alzheimer's development by way of insufficient yeah. sleep is present, that's where I go in and start augmenting your sleep with electrical brain stimulation or other methods that we're trying to develop yeah. as well. I think, um, at least with the APOE4 positive individuals, by the age of 40, the amyloid plaques start to really. That's right. Yep. You know, so to me, it would it would seem that that you know before forty, and certainly when you hit forty, you better have your sleep optimized. And I would say before, I mean, we can see the decline of deep sleep occurring in people in their twenties. That's when your deep sleep starts to decline. Wow. Which is you know frightening, isn't it? It's sad, but and at that point, it's in the male. You know, by the time you're fifty years old, you've lost about fifty percent of the deep sleep that you were having when you were a young teenager. By the time you're 70%, there's only about 5%. Sorry, by the time you're 70 years old, there's only about 5% of your deep sleep left that you mm -hmm. had when you were young and healthy. By the time you're 80, we, we almost can't detect any of these deep sleep brainwaves anymore.